हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी स्टैट प्रो बेसिक टू एडवांस फुल कोर्स ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज लेट्स स्टार्ट हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी स्टैट प्रो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज टुडे वीडियो वी कैलकुलेट और कंपेयर द रिजल्ट बिटवीन टू कैंटिलीवर बीम्स वन बीम हैव यूनिफॉर्म डेप्थ दिस बीम एंड वन बीम हैव वेरिंग डेप्थ एंड फर्स्ट बीम द दिस बीम इज कैंटिलीवर बीम one end is fixed support and other end is free at the free end the vertical load applied 1 kilo newton um, 1 kilo newton is to heavy load so we cancel this k we apply only 1 newton okay okay so first beam we have cantilever one end fixed other end have 1 newton uh, loads of 10 meter length and the cross section of the beam is 100 mm into 100 mm and the second beam is also cantilever beam but in this beam the depth of the beam is varying you can see here the, the this beam has divided into 10 parts and each part uh, reduce the depth of 10 mm the a part a depth is 100 by 100 then b is 100 by 90 100 by 80 we reduce the depth okay the load intensity intensity is same the length of the beam is same the material is same only the difference between two beams is the depth one beam have constant depth and other beam have varying depth let's start and calculate which beam has the more deflection so let's start go to the stat pro and uh, check the is code is checked then click on new project before new project we go to the configuration and change the units matrix units we can also change this unit inside the software we choose space and is the structure 1 meter is the length and kN is the force or we can choose force in newton next finish first of all we what i do we make both beams on in a one space it means we don't uh, have to analyze one beam in another file and one beam in another file we make both beam in the same space so we convert the grid into uh plan sorry not you plan we only change the spacing of the grid 1 meter by 1 meter okay we choose two joints one and 1 meter at 4 and close the grid we have two joints select both joints okay select first joint translate into x direction 10 meter length and link because uh, uh we uh, first beam has 10 meter length link and okay the beam is created now we select the second joint and translate in x direction but now we choose 1 meter and 10 step because in the second beam we have 10 members and the length of the each member is 1 meter link and okay both beam have the same length if you check 10 meter and 10 meter now we uh, assign the support fix support both of the beam okay next is we provide load dead load in the dead load we uh, provide a self weight and a nodal load of intensity Minus one newton. Self weight assigned to both, and the one newton assigned to the free end of the both beam. Okay, load is not showing because of the intensity of the load is too small, and the length of the beam is large compared to the intensity. That's why the arrow of the uh, load cursor is very small. But we have option to change this size go to the this icon 
and scales and apply immediately and the point force value increase the point sorry decrease the point arrow and increase the size of the arrow okay shift plus v is the shortcut key of the load value okay you can apply here display to the unit length now the second step is we provide these properties okay this is the width and this is the depth what we do we go to the property and define rectangle depth is 100 mm it means 0.1 and width is 0.1 for the first beam okay this property is for the first beam and this property also we assign to the this first member add the second we change the depth point zero nine eight seven six five four three two and one okay first property use cursor assigning for fast apply to this and this shift plus k if you press the node is visible second property provide to this and third property to this fourth to this fifth to this sixth to this and seventh eighth ninth and tenth if you right click on the screen go to the structure full section you can see the section is the uniform depth and the varying depth load is applied now the analysis part all add close and analysis okay go to the post processing you can see if you select this joint the deflection is 1629 1629 mm k around if you select this joint the deflection is 1100 so which beam has the maximum deflection the maximum deflection on this beam but in this beam the depth of the beam is more than this so why deflection is more in this not in this because of the sulfate in this beam we reduce the material in this beam we reduce the this material and due to this material the sulfate of the member is reduced that's why deflection is less in this beam and more in this beam 1100 around 500 mm is less if you check uh, the view result on the screen full screen this go to the result view value beam result and deflection annotate you can see here because of the joint you can see at every meter deflection if you like this video please subscribe like and share uh, this youtube tutorials you can also visit my website engineers for civil and you can, you can directly go to these tutorials uh, autocad tutorials abacus sap 2000 tutorial e tap tutorial series if you click any uh, this like see e tap tutorial and uh, the e tap tutorial series is ready to play also microsoft project stat pro tutorial matlab and about me and these are the IR post the last video is P delta analysis we also post the others youtubers videos for knowledge you can go to the this website and check the all deflections sorry or post is if you click this ads this is this ad is this is ad by Google not by me if you click in this ad then 
uh, Google some amount pay me like one rupee or two rupee for by this one click so if you click in this ad uh, you can you by this click you support my channel and motivate me for more videos you can also make your video in any software paid videos by uh, mailed me you go to the contact by the description of the uh, my youtube videos and follow this website and please click on these ads at one time and if you like this video and tutorial thank you very much